there are eight species of bear alive in the world today. The American black bear, the Asiatic black bear, the brown bear, the giant panda, the polar bear, the sloth bear, the Andean spectacled bear, and the sun bear. They are found across the globe from North and South America to Europe, Asia, and the Arctic, but none is found in Africa. Polar bears and Kodiak bears, a subspecies of brown bears, are the two largest in the world, weighing in at 1,200 pounds and standing up to 10 feet tall on their hind legs. They are an impressive sight. In comparison, the smallest bear is the sun bear, found in Southeast Asia. These bears weigh less than 145 pounds and grow to a maximum length of 4 feet. Except for polar bears and the giant panda, bears are mostly omnivorous, as well as eating vegetation, fruit, and berries. They eat small mammals, birds, and reptiles, and some invertebrates. There is an abundance of both vegetation and prey animals for bears in Africa, not to mention a vast array of habitats that would suit many of the bear species. So why aren't there any bears currently living in Africa? Bears did once exist in Africa, until relatively recently. The Atlas bear was found amongst the Atlas Mountains in North Africa. They looked like a slightly stocky version of the current-day American black bears, and their range was thought to have stretched from Morocco across to Libya. They were hunted extensively for sport by the Roman Empire. The Romans used them in their gladiator arenas, as well as to execute criminals. They were hunted to extinction in the late 1800s. These bears are the only known species that were exclusive to Africa. Fossil records have revealed a further two species of bear that once lived in Africa. Agriotherium and Indarctos were huge bear species that became extinct during the Pliocene. It is thought that they may have become extinct in Africa due to the changing climate and greater competition from apex predators. Except for Australia, bears are adapted to most other continents. Australia split from the main continent, Gondwana, 250 million years ago, resulting in the unique and distinctive wildlife found nowhere else on Earth. Africa, however, still remains attached to Asia, but there are no bears currently living there. Polar bears evolved from brown bears 200,000 years ago and spread north. Brown bears and black bears spread widely across Europe and Asia and crossed into North America via the Bering Land Bridge. From there, the bears could radiate southwards, crossing the Panama Land Bridge and evolving into the Andean bear. Whilst the Atlas bear inhabited the mountainous region in North Africa, it never spread further south. The Sahara Desert could have acted as a barrier to the species, preventing it from increasing its range. However, the fossil of the giant Agriotherium bears have been found in sub-Saharan Africa, but it is thought to have died out from the increased competition. Most bear species alive today are highly adaptable. Not only do grizzly bears eat a wide selection of food, but they can easily shift their feeding behavior to suit the changing environment around them. Spectacled bears inhabit a wide range of habitats from the rainforest, cloud forest, and dry forest to grasslands and coastal regions. Asiatic black bears and sun bears coexist in the wild. Their diets overlap, but they do not outcompete each other as their food sources are plentiful. Perhaps it is the lack of adaptations that prehistoric bears had which made them ill-suited to Africa. Current-day bears originated from Europe. They have adapted to colder climates. Increased seasonality within Europe was selected for a larger size which aided in predatory behavior and protection from carnivores and allowed the accumulation of large fat reserves to survive the harsh winters and dips in food sources. It could be that these adaptations that allowed the bears to thrive in Europe, Asia, and North America were not conducive to the hotter African climate. Polar bears overheat very easily. This is why they move with their notorious lumbering walk. They prefer to ambush their prey rather than chase it over long distances. Similarly, black bears and grizzly brown bears are also susceptible to heat stress. 
Recently, it has been discovered that both black bears and grizzlies, especially pregnant females, cool down by taking cold baths. They find pools of water and take a dip, dumping heat as they do so. They also lose heat through the underside of their paws. They have a lot of blood vessels in their paws and often lie on their backs waving them in the air to release heat. Scientists believe that the adaptive behavior of these bears will likely stand them in good stead as global warming takes hold, increasing the temperatures bears are used to. Since bears originated in Europe before spreading east and west, their adaptations were well suited to the northern hemisphere. But what about the Andean spectacled bear? This species inhabits South America and the southern hemisphere. They are found in the hot jungles in the mountainous regions of Venezuela, Colombia, Ecuador, Peru, and Bolivia. They have adapted incredibly well in order to survive and thrive in this climate and habitat. The Andean bear is far smaller in size compared to some of the other bear species. This means that they produce less heat and are less prone to heat stress. They are also expert climbers and often climb to the very tops of trees to escape the stifling heat near the forest floor. In the wet season, there is a significant amount of rain in these forested regions, and the bears can be seen standing in the rain to cool off. Like their larger cousins, they enjoy dipping into the water in order to help regulate their body temperature. Pools of water are littered throughout the jungle, especially during the wet season. Although temperatures in South America can rival those found in Sub-Saharan Africa, it seems the Andean bear adapted well to this climate. The two species of extinct bears found in Sub-Saharan Africa, Agriotherium and Arctodus, however, perhaps didn't adapt so well. Fossils of these species showed them to be enormous bears. They were considerably larger than today's bears and perhaps struggled more with the heat. It has also been speculated that these giant bears living in Sub-Saharan Africa, as well as Europe, were in actual fact scavengers. Their skull and teeth structure were unlikely to support muscles used to catch and kill their prey. Furthermore, analysis of the fossilized bones revealed they ate a vast array of animal species. This is fitting with a scavenger rather than a hunter. Perhaps their enormous size enabled them to scare away other animals feeding on a carcass. Today's brown bears often watch and wait for wolves to bring down their prey and then run in, scaring them away and feasting on the carcass themselves. Often scavengers, however, don't get the choice of cuts of meat. Therefore, feeding a bear of such enormous size indicated that they needed to get additional nutrients from elsewhere. Their jaws suggest they were able to crunch bone. This would have enabled them to get at the highly nutritious bone marrow of a carcass. Although scavenging and consuming this bone marrow could provide enough nutrition for these immense beasts, the arrival of hyenas meant competition for the same meal was high. Better adapted for the hotter, drier climate than the bears and with the ability to scavenge and even hunt in packs, hyenas had the upper hand. It seems that fierce competition for food and the hot climate may have led to the demise of Agriotherium and Arctodus in Africa. Furthermore, bears of European origin may not have been able to cross southwards of the Sahara Desert. The only bear to have lived solely in Africa, the Atlas bear, was hunted to extinction. It is increasingly important to conserve the species we have on this planet that we and so many other organisms call home, because once they're gone, they're gone. That's all for today. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share it with your friends. You can also leave a comment with what you would like to see in the following videos. Thanks for watching. See you next time. 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 Time.